What's up guys, it's Test Drive Time, 1955 Chevrolet. This is a 3100 series pickup truck, step side with a 350 under the hood. Does have power steering, power brakes, needs a fan shroud for that protection to help pull that air through the radiator. Now this one, it looks like it's got disc brakes in the front, drum in the rear. It's also got a set of Riddler wheels. She's painted in yellow. She's got chrome on her. She's got the wood bed. Looks pretty good. It's also warming up still. But her detailed pictures, finance options are available at maplemotors.com. So be sure to go there and look at that. Now there's three companies to choose from. We also have shipping available through a separate company. Uh, and guys, we'll get you hooked up with these vehicles. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Let's check out our interior and place bets. Do you think the horn works? This one is unknown mileage because it's got an aftermarket uh, display there. Looks like Dakota Digital. I don't see where it says that, but it looks like it. Nice seat. It is showing 394 miles on this display. Turn signal. You can see it blink in there and the other side. Got the tilt column. Blower motor. Uh, I don't hear nothing or feel nothing, so needs work there. Horn, did you place your bets? <laughs> Whoa, it does work. It sounds cool. Gauges all work across the board. Let's take on. Okay, it's time to roll. We're gonna get some gas. For sure, this thing says low fuel right now. And the idle does come down, you gotta give it a second, but I think it's gotta get back up to like 170. I let it warm up and then I tapped that throttle and it came down, the choke cut off, everything was good. Right now it's at 150, 160, so. I want that choke to kick off. It's already warmed up once, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take off here. First time I've driven this ride, pretty much every single car or every video that I make, it's my first time. All I did was drive next door, uh, and the reason I've been driving next door, uh, basically to get my work done. <laughs> I could talk to people all day long at the lot, and I enjoy it, but I don't get any videos made, so I have to jump in them, come next door. And it works out pretty well. I get a lot more done throughout the day. Now, so far, this one's checking out pretty good. Looks like all of our gauges are working. The gas gauge, I think, is working. It's on E, but we're gonna go up here and get some. Hopefully, I don't run out. That's riding down the road here. A little slack in the steering. It's turning there and it's turning there. Not a whole lot of slack, but there's definitely some. The speedometer seems to be pretty accurate. Floor it. It's taking it. It's pretty uh, responsive in the brakes. Feel good. Back in her throttle. Floor. Kickdown's not hooked up. That's our passing gear. It shifts down. But I mean, we got plenty of path. I don't see anyone trying to speed race this truck, anyways. This is a good cruiser. Puller. A little Radley on her door over there. It's a fit window. brakes. I feel great. Idles came down now. Engine temperature still at 160 though. Full pressure's at 30 where it needs to be. Big echo chamber in here. <laughs> over here and get a little bit of fuel. I'm gonna 
dollars a premium 93 octane and we'll see if it comes off e it's dead on e right now i'll tell you what i'll be right back While I'm out here at the gas station, I just put $20 worth of premium fuel in this ride. 93 octanes, what we run. Like a receipt? Of course I would. $20 gets us over five gallons. Watch, it won't spit me out one. They never had it. <laughs> Don't even get a thank you come again. Here we go. Gauge? Half a tank, so it does work. There's our gas gauge there. Not surprised, because everything else does. Here we go. Guys, I gotta tell you about this product I just installed in my 68 Camaro. So this is a base knob addition that you can add, upload pictures, you got a voltmeter, and it connects straight to your phone. No base, no problem. Pick one up below. Okay, we're heading on back. Give her a good lick and get a stick up on the window there. Yes, I have suction cups on my phone. It works great. And that gives me the picture that y'all are watching right there. You can see y'all look wonderful. Heading on back to the lot. I forgot to do the intro with the horn and stuff. So y'all are gonna get real confused when I start off the video and it shows that we have gas. <laughs> oh deer, see that deer? Man, I know there is hundreds of deer in my neighborhood. They're everywhere. I don't think I'm gonna get me one this year. I usually get me one or two, but I still got meat from last year, so. 
I don't need it, so I'm not going to do it. This is a nice truck. I mean, you got your little rattles and stuff, but it's from 1955. You could probably put some bigger, fatter seals around and stuff and stop all those rattles, but... But it is the nature of the beast here. And of course, right now it's five o'clock. So we got a lot of traffic. Zipping on through. Engine temperatures at 170. Hole pressures at 35. in the road you're gonna hear a little rattling from that window over there yep and if you're familiar with my videos we are right around the corner from Maple Motors I hope you enjoyed this one you should know everything you need to know about it by the end of it you still got another what 10 15 minutes left in this video Picking out the flaws is a huge segment. It's a make it or break it segment, so if you're interested, please watch that. I want you to know everything front to back on these vehicles. And if you don't mind, hit subscribe. That's gonna help me out. I've been doing this a long time, and I'll take all the help I can get, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. All right, we're gonna walk around this ride. Anything I find you'll know about it, chips, scratches, rust, dents. Let's get started. Here. Yeah. All right, let's get started here. Coming up on the front end, so they have upgraded the headlights. Looks like our bumper on the front has got some bugs on it, but other than that, it looks pretty good. A little spot there in the corner. A little overspray. Light scuffs. Scuff here. A little overspray there. That should wipe off. I don't know why the detail guys didn't do that. Coming down this side. Touch up mark. There as well. That crack. Crack there in the corner. A little bit of wax there. Tell the guys if they're going to wax them, they got to get all the wax off. <laughs> I'll spot here. I say it to them. They don't like it. <laughs> Maybe that's why they leave wax for me. Blemish there. Coming back your midsection. Touch up marks. More touch up marks. Scuff there. A little bit of pitting on that handle.
Coming up to the back here. Touch up mark there. Little scuff. Chip. Rear bumper on this one looks decent. <clears throat> Jump clear over that. Coming down this side. Some cracks. <clears throat> Touch that mark there. Got a glue there. Scuff. Bubble in the corner of the door. A little rust there. Touch up mark here. Looks like I had a little damage. Slight bubble here. Real light. Mark. Mark. Up. Spot here and there. Touch up mark. You got some scratches on your bed rail too. Fitting on your handle. front windshield little cracks around the seal but oh there's a spot right there cracking the windshield real small all right we made it around the outside of this truck let's go ahead and check out the interior listen to that motor
seat on this one has been redone. It looks pretty good. I knew if I didn't move that, some some guy or somebody would say, what are you hiding there, boy? Nothing. Look at this messed up looking light. I don't know what happened or how that happened, but it looks like it's made that way. Did somebody make that? Yeah. I've never seen one like that. Huh. I, wonder, I wish I could see it on. That's for the gauges. What in the world is going on out there? <laughs> Sound like they're having fun. Which it's Friday for me, so I'll go home and I'm gonna have some fun for the weekend. Might get some dirt bikes out and do some jamming. Oh, I need to record y'all a new song. I just got my studio cleaned up, so winter time's coming. That's when I do most of my recording. You'll hear some new songs coming out. Got one called Let's Go For A Ride now. What do you think? Ain't a thing gonna change. Still gasoline, fire running through my veins. Let's go for a ride down Main. <laughs> Told you I wrote one. That's cool. A little bit of pitting. Low fuel, we might need to get some gas. New visors. <clears throat> fan shroud is a must. One big thing, you don't want that fan blade coming off and hurting you. And I've heard the horror stories of that. Many horror stories, actually. It's very common. That's a nice old truck, guys. You want a good cruiser? Why not pick us? Got a couple chips already. Ain't got to worry about it because it's not perfect. You could say it's my old truck. I do appreciate you watching, guys. Again, we're not pushy on sales. We let you pick. These cars do sell themselves. Hundred detailed pictures are available. You can call and talk to us all. Uh, you'll get to know the whole family, and once you buy a ride, pretty much you talk to everyone. Chip there. Now, Pops is hard on hearing, so don't get mad at him. He sounds like he's yelling on the phone. Uh, that's the most common mistake we've had. And I ain't going to tell the man to go anywhere because I want him there every day. But, yeah, he is hard on hearing now. And he did start this place a long time ago. But I did notice a couple people were like, that guy's yelling on the phone. Well, yeah. But what do I do? Little spots there. He's not yelling at you. He's yelling because he can't hear you. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Don't tell him I said that. He's going to kill me. Hunter Detail Pictures, financing and shipping. MapleMotors.com. Please let me know what you think. And uh, I guess I'm going to wrap this up. I'll see you later. Have a good one.